now after learning the line segment we should know uh, we should get the ideas of line what is line now see here here is a line one line is P and one line is Q right uh, sorry one point is P and another point is Q and both are connected right this is a line segment now what will happen I'm just going to increase this and this side also I'm going to increase this I'm increasing 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 and this side also I'm increasing increasing and increasing and increasing increasing after 10 years also I'll go like this I'll be moving 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 my paper my 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 this uh, this uh, you can say uh, yeah this uh, board or paper will finish but this line segment will not finish it will be it will be going on going on going on going on going on going on and this side will also be going on going on going on both side will be going on going on I, I can increase w whole my life right if I'll be increasing the whole of my life then also I'll be increasing and increasing my son my grandson everybody will be increasing but this will not finish right it will not finish so what we can say uh, it's a such a line right uh, uh, that is that is called exactly the line right uh, right so it's it's same just like the line segment but line segment has some fixed points right so it is fixed between these two points so this is this is now line segment right this is this part is line segment but once that line segment is uh, increased right increased and increased and uh, it will be just increasing 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 never it will be ending that is that then that that whole part right that whole part will be called line segment right that will be uh, sorry that will be called now line right line segment has a fixed point right it is uh, it has end point right but line do not ends at any 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 conditions right so now what we can understand from here that suppose this is P point and this is Q point so this is PQ here this PQ is a line segment right and once I will increase this and this it will never end somewhere so line is a uh, you can say uh, endless line segment right endless never it will end right it will be going on just that is line so now here uh, this is a line uh, this 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 line is passing through the point P and Q right here this line is passing through P and P and Q it's not perfect but it's it's passing through this right uh, my god it's not perfect again okay so fine so this this line is right th this red colored line is passing through P and Q so to represent a line we generally write same just like line segment but we make this side also mouth and this side also mouth like this arrow we make both side now this means PQ is a line not a line segment this is a uh, this is a line segment PQ line segment means if anybody tell you uh, what is this then this is a PQ line segment and if anybody tell you to draw the PQ line segment then simply you'll make uh, like this and this is P point and this is Q point right and once you uh, anybody uh, told you to make a PQ line right a PQ is not a line it's just uh, actually you know a line is passing through the P and Q point right so you will make like this and somewhere you can make P and somewhere you can make Q right this is this is exactly the representation of a line right so actually PQ is not a line from P and Q points that line is passing right so generally we say that PQ is a line PQ is a line so you can understand it but you should know the concept what is exactly right the line is passing through the P and Q okay and PQ is the uh, line segment that has a fixed distance right it has line segment has fixed distance line segment has fixed distance right line segment has fixed distance but a line do not have no fixed distance no fixed distance for what for a line right now if you get the concept of uh, uh, this line now let's go to understand what is ray now we should know what is ray okay what is ray you may have heard many times this but uh, you know 
uh, there is a great use of line segment and line uh, a very very much use of line and line segment actually totally geometry is formed with the line and line segment and uh, we should know the concept of ray also what is ray right so to understand the ray I have, I have collected some figures here let's see here this is actually the Sun right at the center this is Sun here uh, okay fine this is here this is the center of the Sun and this is a lighthouse right and from the lighthouse the light are emerging right and see here what you can see from the Sun the rays are moving like this these are the s beam of light right going on going on right like this and this is a lighthouse again lighthouse is spreading the lights in all direction right this lighthouse right in all direction they are spreading the lights so what you are watching here it is starting at a point right at particular points they are starting mm. yeah suppose here they are starting at this point and at this point both are starting but up to which point they will go we don't know this may goes up to you know infinitely I don't know where they will uh, end right this is just going on the rays of the Sun is just moving and moving on and where it will end we don't know right so this is exactly called the rays this is exactly called the rays or ray symbol ray right now uh, this is a ray right so how can we define now in uh, in geometry what is ray it's just you know that's a line which has starting point right line segment or uh, which has some so which has some starting point right starting point starting point right but no end point no end point no end point right that is called ray it has some starting point you see it has a starting point the, from the Sun the uh, lights are starting but where it will end we don't know the same thing the starting point we have but we don't have the end point so that is called the ray right so I forget uh, to tell you and line segment also right suppose this is a line segment uh, again uh, I'm taking suppose this is M and N then you know uh, this 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 M is called starting point right and this is called end point if you write the line segment like this then if you're writing this line segment like this then M is the starting point and N is the end point but if you write like this suppose if it is something like uh, N and M right and you will be writing again N and M then at that time you will be writing like this and this will be your starting point again starting point and this will be end point right this is starting point this is end point and here if you write something the same thing if you write like this mm, and M right then this will be a starting point for this this N will be a starting point and M will be end point right so I think you get the idea of uh, this uh, point what is point uh, what we learned exactly point is something uh, invisible dot like a structure right and what is line segment the shortest distance between the two point is the line segment right and what is line it's it's just 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 like a line segment but which do not have end point it's just moving on moving on that is a line right which never ends right that is called line and raise what we get that uh, something from somewhere it is starting but it doesn't have any end point that is called a ray right and uh, you know uh, the group of rays is called exactly the beam right so something like that from some some source it is moving on right it's something like that so we should not uh, uh, study that that must beam or something there are lots of things we have to study right so we don't use these things in geometry so we need these things what we were uh, we discussed over here right so please keep these all things in mind in next video we'll be uh, talking the another uh, concept of geometry so we'll be meeting in next video bye bye